Hi people, it's me Anya. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is inspired by my friend Talisa's video that she did about a month ago about her favorite sapphic. Favorites, if you don't know, sapphic means woman loving woman. So that's great. I'll leave Talisa's video in the description below. But yeah, happy Pride Month. I thought that it would be fitting to make this video because as a cishet ally, I think it's really important to showcase these sapphic books, especially since, you know, with anything, really, women are less represented than men, so I think it's really important to talk about sapphic stories as it is to talk about, you know, queer men as well. And I thought it would be fitting to wear this shirt because it's my six of clothes shirt. And Nina is one of my favorite bicons. So anyway, fictional bicons anyway. So anyway, the first book on this list is called Girl Crush, written by Katie Heaney. This is a YA romantic contemporary book that I talked about pretty recently in a recent Leeds video. So I'll link that recent Leeds video in the description below. Basically, this follows Quinn, whose girlfriend dumps her a month before their senior year. So Quinn is not only girlfriend less, but also best friend less. But she has a crush on this new girl named Ruby at their school. So, there's that, that's the premise. This was a cute, fluffy, romantic book. And like I said in that Lisa Leeds video, I would recommend this book to anybody who really enjoyed the Leah on the Offbeat. Because it was so fluffy and was really, really cute and I really, really liked it. I think I rated it like three and a half stars. So again, if you wanna know why I didn't rate it any higher, go watch the Lisa Leeds video where I talk about it in more detail. So yeah, this book was really, really cute and really, really fluffy and just really, really, really romantic. The next book on this list is called The Mighty Halt of Sunny St. James, written by Ashley Hailing Blank. Are we surprised that I included a book by this author today? No, because Ashley Hailing Blank writes wonderful books. So, so wonderful. Like Ivy Appledean, which I mentioned on Thursday, this is a juvenile contemporary book and it follows 12-year-old Sunny St. James who navigates um, what's it called? Navigates first kisses, heart surgery, reconnections with a lost mom, and emerging feelings for a new girl all at once. So that's a lot of handle for anybody. But Sunny St. James handles it so well. She's a resilient, wonderful character. I love all the characters in this as well as the plot. Like this book was just so, so, so good. And it's just so, so good. Ashley Herring Blake is so, so underrated like she's so underrated and this book is just so so good it's just as good as ivy abeldeen so if you've read ivy abeldeen you should read this book as well because it's just as good in fact i think i prefer this book to ivy abeldeen but anyway both these books are just so so good sunny st james is so 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 wonderful the next book is another one that i've talked about pretty recently and it is called when We Will Magic, written by Sailor Gailey. This follows Alexis and her group of friends, and they all have magic. And unfortunately, one day, Alexis's spell goes horribly wrong, and she ends up killing somebody. I really, really like this book. I ended up rating it four stars. I feel like when filming this video, I'm just repeating what I literally said last week. Because this book was just so, so, so good. Alexis is just a great protagonist. I love her so, so much. The camaraderie between her and all of her friends was spot on. I really liked the repercussions that Taylor Gailey discussed with when you accidentally kill somebody. Because, like, that's a topic that I expected her to sweep that under the rug and focus more on, like, other things. But Taylor Gailey did a great job with it, and I thought that it was really, really well done, and it was just really, really great. And so that's why you should read this book, because it's just... It's just so great. The next book is called Of Fire and Stars, written by Audrey Colhurst. This is a YA fantasy book following Denna, who has magic in a kingdom where magic is forbidden and to make matters worse. Denna also has feelings for the sister of the man that she's supposed to marry. So that's good and fun and flesh. I really, really liked this book. I read it like three years ago, but I can still remember that it made an impact on me and that I really, really enjoyed it. Unfortunately, I DNF the sequel, but this book is still really, really solid, a little bit underrated, and I just think that it's really, really good. The relationship between Denna and her girlfriend is just so, so, so cute and wonderful. The ending on this book was spot on. 
and just so so good i like the plot i like the characters i liked everything about it and i think i rated it four stars anyway it's just really really good and i would really highly recommend it if you enjoy like romantic fantasy books the next book is called we are okay written by nina lacole i know i've talked about this book previously in one of my contemporary book recommendations videos but I genuinely do not know how to explain the synopsis of this story except to tell you that I was not okay after finishing this book because it's so good it's such a hard-hitting contemporary and YA book and even though it's so short like I think that it's under 300 pages which for me is very very short but a book like that that's so short that still packs a punch and doesn't feel like it's really short is so so good like Nina Lacole, like this was the first book that I have ever read by her and I was genuinely surprised and blown away because this story was absolutely incredible. I loved all of the characters in this. I loved Nina's writing and her form of using like flashbacks and stuff to tell the story. It was just so, so, so good. And I'm sorry that I can't explain the synopsis of it. It's just that like the Goodreads synopsis I feel like gives too much away. But, like, I don't know how to summarize what Goodreads gives me in, like, like, two sentences or so. Just read this book. It's just so, it's just so, so good. The next book is called Tarnish All the Stars, written by Rosie Thor. This follows three characters, Anna, who has an illegal clockwork heart, who supplies black market medical technology against the commissioner's tyrannical laws. Nathaniel, the commissioner's son, who's never wanted to question the law, and to please his father, he goes after and seeks the technician, and Eliza, a skilled assassin and spy. This book was so, so good. I ended up rating it four stars. The three multiple perspectives works well for the story. I really, really liked it. And like I said, since this book is in this list, um, you can guess which characters are sapphic. So this book was just so, so, so good. I really liked it. It's kind of like YA science fantasy so i think this is also a fantasy standalone so that's wonderful as well i just really liked it i like the world building i like the characters i like the plot i like that all three of them ended up working together because they're all like obviously unlikely allies so that was really cool and it was just really really good the next book is called crap and land written by elizabeth Asquebedo. so i read this book last week and I'll leave at least one of the video in the description below. Like I said, this follows two sisters who find out that those sisters after their father dies in a plane crash. So it really like talks about grief and love and forgiveness and all those fun things. And I really, really liked this book. It was just really, really good. I ended up reading it four stars. Unfortunately, I don't think that it's in the same tier as the Poet X, but it's better than with the file on high. So that says something. I know some people really loved with the file on high i didn't as much but anyway this book was really, really good and i just really really liked it and it was just really it was so good it's in this list because one of the sisters is sapphic the other one i don't believe is but anyway both sisters are just such great characters and the plot was great and it was just really really lovely and i loved their bond together like it was so so good it was just really, really great. And how many more times am I going to say that this book was really, really great before you read it? The last book is called Summer of Salt, written by Katrina Leno. This follows Georgina, who is anxiously waiting for her magic to arrive because every woman in her family has magic that has been passed down for generations. And she's anxiously waiting for hers because her 18th birthday is coming up really fast and it hasn't arrived yet, which is really weird. And her twin sister, Melee, has the ability to defy gravity. So, that's really cool. I really, really, really love this book. There's a trigger warning for sexual assault, which again, I should have mentioned at the beginning. But anyway, this book was so, so, so good. It was so magical, so whimsical. The atmosphere was spot on. The world building, the characters, the plot, everything about this book was absolutely amazing. I rated this book five stars because there's nothing about this book that I would change because it was just so, so, so good. It was so good. It knocked me out of the water. 
it's not the place anyway it was just so 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 good and it truly dissolves all of its hype that it receives and more because it's just so incredible it's just so good i hope you like this video if you did give it a thumbs up and comment down below your favorite sapphic books i hope that this video is a reminder that you should be supporting queer books and sapphic books in sapphic characters and sapphic authors not just in june but in all months of the year happy pride month i hope that everybody is having a great month like i said thanks for watching and subscribe to Teresa's channel please i'll leave her channel and her video in the description below like i said before she is so so wonderful and so nice and i love her videos so so much and she has just amazing amazing content so anyway thanks for watching bye